born in this world, we are raised to trust and have faith in truth and justice. Congress, law enforcement, pastors, professors, doctors, teachers, and other positions of power of authority are always viewed as a role in which honor and integrity should be maintained at the forefront of that individual's character. Is this my purpose? What happens when these people in positions of power and authority are wrong? What happens when they are threatened? What happens when they make a mistake? That's not my vision. What is the recourse when, when, these per, when this person of power and authority feels threatened? Is it fair for these individuals to manipulate the outcome of a situation? What just does it serve when information is withheld to alter anything? To whose ambition? What if a judge or an officer of the law is having a bad day? Is it fair for the citizens to suffer their wrath? If a doctor makes a mistake, should that warrant a cover-up? My question is, where's the truth and justice in that? Why should one's title or job overrule what's right? There's no justice in being charged for a crime when evidence proved charges are not appropriate. Why is it lawful to arrest a person, assess their belongings, and set a value on that person's freedom? Is this the truth and justice we have to put our faith in? Why is it so easy to overlook pure facts just because the authority of a person is taken into consideration? Many things are modified at the discretion of these individuals who wield this power and authority. There's no fairness or justice in being punished for speaking the truth. Many fear the harsh consequences of speaking out at the hands of these authoritative figures. Shoot first, ask questions later, ask questions later seems to be the thing. Change the story as you go to minimize losses. Cover our own heads. The justice system was, you're innocent until proven guilty. Now, it's, you're accused, you're arrested, asked what you own, charged according to what you own, pay a ransom to walk the street, hope you have enough money to obtain a lawyer smart enough to prove the truth we clearly see. Why is the system beginning to hold its citizens hostage? Is it wrong to question one's integrity just because of their authority? Pushing me to my objectives is a multitude of questions. My desire to change and the void in my heart to fulfill what my purpose is has been pressed forward with such clarity I have no choice but to say hallelujah. And that's it. What's your name? My name is Farouk Robinson. Farouk Robinson, everyone. He is a widower father and of six children, surviving children, versing City of Philadelphia, DHS, RICO Act, indictable, kidnap for profit, personal injury, official corruption, fraud, and uh, theft, civil rights violations. He is a, an in innovator, enriching uh, U.S. economy, education, judicial accountability, prison, and public safety reform by leading the way in a landmark uh, docket monitoring, docket analysis underway in Philadelphia Court of Common Pleas Trial Division through higher lyrics client case file trial prep management, which is showing how our Philadelphia Court of Common Pleas has become commercialized so much so as to act in conflict of interest of its own civil and criminal rules of procedure for discovery, allowing deficiencies in discovery by court appointed and private counsel, insufficient counsel. And we are showing how our men and our women are being, not only are they able, are being removed from the protection of their children plucked by DHS for billing to their abusers, for their abusers in foster care abuse injuries and so on. We are showing administrative solutions to learn our, uh, our rights to petition courts for re redress of grievances on our own behalf, both through U.S. constitutional rights and Pennsylvania constitutional rights and through insisting on the application of existing laws, rules, policies, and procedures, particularly thorough, exhaustive, competent, and aggressive competitive discovery. 
witness lists are to be provided for our uh, men and women who are suffering the distraction of saving their own freedom while their children are severely injured through kidnap for profit schemes, false claims. Why are why is a person able to make a retaliatory, financially interested, uh, vindictive? statement against someone, false allegations, and the Philadelphia Court of Common Pleas Trial Division players, the judges, the uh, assistant district attorneys, the prosecutors, the defense, the criminal defense attorneys, why are they not insisting on witness lists, cross-examination, forensic evidence, expert witness reports as to what even constitutes uh, proof of sexual allegations, uh, physical Mortal, uh, uh, while the child is alive, and even in post-mortem cases, we have several coroner reports that coroners are able to determine if such a matter has occurred. Why are the children's uh, coerced testimony and manipulated testimony against their parents permitted to stand without cross-examination or scrutiny by child psychologists, experts, uh, PhDs, and forensics experts from the uh, defendant side? Why is there not equal discovery before there is prowl trap? Why is our court uh, here in Philadelphia Court of Common Pleas uh, issuing requests for proposals, big money being paid, and the uh, project task is only to provide a technology solution for systemizing acceptance of guilty pleas. Mm. Why is it not a technology solution for accepting pleas uh, of all why, types? Why is it not a solution for accepting the truth? Yes, I'm going to do another video statement where I show everyone how to utilize your official court websites, particularly here in Philadelphia, how when we are barred, uh, uh, court-appointed lawyers many times, they may not be malicious or really in conflict of interest it's they are so overwhelmed on a court appointed attorney will how to look on a court calendar and see that your attorney is just your case is booked with your attorney representative from the public defender's office only because he happens to be there for everybody else's case that day mm -hmm. in churn mill fashion and we are going to see how we can communicate even when we have an attorney on record instead of our notices to the judicial officers making the decisions how we can communicate to the official court websites, uh, the official court of common pleas, their, admin their administrative offices for the judges, their uh, secretaries and their law clerks, how through fax confirmation, certified mail, and hand delivery affidavits of same, and certified service to our governor and our state legislators and our senators and our attorney generals and uh, those who have already become special prosecutors here in Pennsylvania with the successful Kids for Cash um, convictions of the judges in the Middle District and the Gary Penn, Penn Sandusky. It's not the problem with the prosecutors. Is how do we get them to see that we have notified our courts and now make the judicial officer uh, accountable for actually weighing and applying the existing rules of procedure in that particular case. The reason you want to do this is not because you believe, oh, because I do this, I'm going to win. What you're doing is you're building building blocks, administrative steps, firm blocks that you will stand on anticipating that the next step is you're going to have to appeal. You're going to have a wrongful conviction and you're going to have the paper trail timeline, client data, uh, you're going to have the data in a U.S. citizens control public docket database that does not ever go away. That not only will others be able to benefit it, but you will refer to it in your federal filings and your crime victim compensation claims to the U.S. insurers for the Department of Justice because the Department of Justice has a claim form where it has no filing fee and a different set of instructions for a paying for damages for uh, their insurance for putting in a claim so that the national insurance company can pay for the damages personal injury disabilities wrongful death uh, for the remedial care that your children your separation trauma children uh, need parent alienation injured children need theft of heritage health freedom careers and future need uh, this called the um, Department of Justice claim form 95 you want to have this proof that you did all you could to exercise every recourse and 
point out that it was the mechanism that failed you. The mechanism dropped the ball. And who I was identi uh, individually accountable in there. Maybe it, they weren't malicious, but if they were, it'll show up in an assortable uh, table of rows and columns, which is nothing more. That's what a database is. And Or they were in conflict of interest. They were somebody's roommate in college. They were super lawyers together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're going over each other's house for dinner. Or they're sitting on the same boards of directors of the very same contractors who are exhausting and optimizing billing. Not only for your children in the group homes and in the foster care situations, but after they come out of school, they're released from there. They're thrown in the shelters to be uh, usually medical error injured, drug addicted from psychotropic chemicals, looking for street drugs as a way to cope. And then they're arrested and they go from what uh, Ty Terrence Tyree calls the um, prison, the education to prison pipeline, still billing. Still billing for federal funding and abuse of funding that was intended for the preservation of families. Okay, we're going to have a workshop today, a trial prep workshop for Farouk Robinson. Watch out for that case. Watch out for our video releases. Watch out for our Amazon books, shop to MBAs, the top 10 business schools. Uh, uh, law schools, uh, the professor university, professors who give... Um, uh, credit class credit to their uh, law school students who become court watchers, the University of Temple, University of Penn, and all over the world, Washington Post, New York Times, Forbes magazine. We are not going to protect our rights and try to curtail the distribution of this learning that will make the world a better place. And we are enriching the economy, Judicial accountability, education, prison, and public integrity reform. Go to www.hirelyrics.org. I'm Roxanne Greenwich with Farouk Robinson. The new civil rights movement sees new civil rights heroes. Thank you. Bye.